What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the shop where we've got a really exciting video plan for you guys today. In today's episode, we've got an exciting continuation of the kind of build series of well, my SRT Grand Cherokee that I've been kind of using as a surprise tactic for my wife. If there's anything that you guys know about me, if you've been following this channel for any amount of time is that I have a really hard time keeping anything at all stock, like even including my skid steer. I mean, we got that and now it's getting a whole bunch of mods as well. But long story short, in today's episode, guys, we are gonna be putting this absolutely sick set of Vossen wheels on her 2018 SRT, and then we're gonna be surprising her. But let me give you guys a small little context about why I kind of shot myself in the foot about that surprise. Now, before we get there, I just wanna let you guys know that Dream Diesel giveaway number 10 is live, and it's that 2017 Ford F-250 Platinum Super Duty. It's like 24,500 miles on it and it's absolutely immaculate. Now, you guys can actually win this truck and while you're seeing this video, four times entries are actually still live. So if you wanna grab your chance to win that truck with a multiplier on top, definitely don't hesitate because you might be like one of our nine previous winners except where you're taking home that thing right there. Just imagine the possibilities. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. But anyway guys, let's do a small little recap of the last video where we actually surprised my wife with lowering springs that she didn't even really notice were done. So what we have right in the back seat are some lowering springs. We're going to install them. We're gonna see if she even notices. Here in the back, we've got, I'm gonna say six inches, maybe eight inches. You guys can see up here, there's a significant difference. Give it that really aggressive sporty look. This is maybe four inches, maybe three at that. Today's objective is to get this to match that so we can prepare for the wheels and tires that we've got on order. So these are the front and these are the, these are the back. We're gonna be sitting like this because that's how you ride. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I ended up putting one of the front springs in the rear. I had to take that entire side back apart. But like I said, honesty is the best policy. What better way to get some springs to settle than to try. <laughs> and we're just gonna go in and we're gonna grab my wife. We're gonna bring her outside and we're just gonna see if she notices any difference. If I was a gambling man, I put all my money on the fact that she's not gonna notice. What do you think? <laughs> of what? I don't, did you change the oil? I don't know. It you didn't change the wheels. They still have the Gramp wheels. So as you guys saw, we had a lot of fun in that video, but like I said, I kind of shot myself in the foot because in the video, I said that I was gonna be putting a set of wheels on the SRT and she's since seen the video. So now I needed to get even more creative. So the plan is this, we decided to take the SRT over to the shop today and she asked me why I was taking it rather than my 2020 Denali. And I basically said, just because I haven't had a chance to get it cleaned. And literally it's absolutely filthy. It's got like bird crap all over it because we parked under a tree mistakenly and all this other stuff. Plus the dog slobber in the back. So it was a great excuse to kind of cover up the fact that, well, we actually have a set of wheels, which I'll show you guys soon, but we're gonna take it a step further. So when I say we're gonna take it a step further, we're actually gonna get the wheels installed. We're gonna go back to my house and I'm gonna call my wife on the way home and ask her why there's a huge dent in this side of her SRT and ask her what happened. And she's obviously gonna be thrown off because there's no dent inside of the SRT. And then we're gonna bring her outside and I'm gonna be like, I can't believe this, that, and the other, and then show her the wheels and hopefully we can get a fun reaction out of her. So I'd love to thank Vossen Wheels for helping us out in this video by hooking us up with a set of wheels that are extremely sick. Guys, without further ado, check these things out. <laughs> Now on the real, ladies and gentlemen, how absolutely sick are these Vossen wheels? Let me tell you guys a little bit about these things. Big shout out to my friend Kyle Martin down at Vossen. He's been a long-term friend of mine for a while and he was a huge reason as to why we decided to go this route. I mean, it's kind of an awesome collaboration between friendship and an amazing company. Now Vossen has been around. They've been pumping out some extremely sick wheels, but they've also become easily one of the most popular wheel manufacturers in kind of the car and performance space for a while. You see a lot of these wheels going on the very high class cars and SUVs. Now, Trackhawks, SRTs, yes, but I'm talking like G-Wagons, McLarens, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, AMGs, BMW M-Series, all of that good kind of stuff. 
and they really crush it. These wheels are so unbelievably light, it blows my mind versus what I'm used to, which is like throwing around these extremely heavy forged wheels. But these are also forged, it's just they're a hybrid forged. And while they have weight savings in mind, because they go on performance vehicles a majority of the time. Now, let me tell you about these. This is part of their new hybrid forged lineup. These are the HF3 model in a 20 by 10 and a half plus 27 offset. And they're actually slightly concave. And that's kind of what I wanted to go with versus a flat faced wheel. We're going to get some really nice inset. And I think it's going to make the SRT look absolutely sick. Now to complement that, they actually hooked us up with a set of their Cold Forge 7075 aluminum lug nuts. No joke, these are like lighter than a quarter. And what's kind of cool is they have a spiraling powder coated steel ring right here, which is your centering pin. And then of course, they have the little details in mind, Valsen on either side. And then of course, they have the thread pitch as well with their small little V here on the outside. Super sick. So we've got a set of the locking lugs and then the standard lugs that'll go in to kind of complete this package. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta move Dream Diesel giveaway number 10 out. We gotta get the SRT in. We gotta get it washed, wheels installed, and then it's time to play some games with my wife. Here we go. Boom, ladies and gentlemen. So here we've got the SRT, and you're just gonna get a quick look side by side at where we're going versus where we were. Factory is a 20 inch wheel. Vossens are a 20 inch wheel, but we decided to change it up on the tires just a little bit. These ones right here are 295, 45, 20. So they're actually a little bit narrower and taller of a tire. A little bit more sidewall, a little bit less width versus these that are actually a 315, 35. So shorter sidewall, wider tire. It's gonna get us a little bit more of that aggressive stance and it's gonna give us a little bit less meat on the side, but still an adequate amount for kind of like overall comfort purposes. Now, we decided to wrap this wheel in the Continental Extreme Contact. I'd say that this is the best tire that one could put on a vehicle that they wanna to subject to all conditions, dry, wet, slippery, snowy, etc. And Continental makes a really good tire at the end of the day. I wanted to put the absolute best that I could find, but also maintain that nice, aggressive size. <laughs> you this massive dent that we found in the side of the door. Nah, I'm only just playing, but that's kind of how we're gonna go about it. We got this thing pretty much cleaned up and dried up. Now is for the absolutely priceless part of installing new wheels. Anybody that's ever put new wheels on their car can relate to this feeling. It's like Christmas morning when you were a kid. It's just that like impatient feeling of satisfaction, if that makes any sense at all. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing dried up real quick, and then we're gonna get the wheels installed. Let's get it started. installed ladies and gentlemen what are your thoughts if you're excited about how sick this thing looks man drop this video a massive thumbs up and if you guys haven't subscribed to my youtube channel already definitely consider doing so we like having a good time on this youtube channel and if you like having a good time then i'd say that you're a good fit but guys boston wheels 2018 srt white black combination are you kidding me right now this looks absolutely insane boston i'm giving it to you guys right now y'all design a freaking sick wheel and i cannot believe how well a light these things are and b fit and finish quality everything even on the little lock nut you have to align Vossen up with Vossen 
in order to get it to line up. It's those little details that go a long way. And I could pretty much talk this entire vlog about quality and engineering. And well, I think it goes without saying that those guys know exactly what they're doing. So I'm gonna put their information in the description below. Check them out. If you got a sweet car, sweet truck, something that makes a lot of horsepower, whatever the case is, something classy, anything in between, hit them up. They've got a slew of wheel options that you guys need to shop. Believe me when I tell you, it was extremely difficult for me to end up picking these wheels as there was like five that I boiled my last options down to. And I kind of had to close my eyes and just pick one. But long story short, how sick does this thing look? The lower profile tire, wider tire, and then those 20s look perfect. I had actually considered doing 22s, but on this chassis and this setup, it would have looked too big. 22s on this setup too much, whereas the 20 kind of complements everything perfectly. So without further ado, I know you guys are really excited about this setup, but you guys want to see the wife's reaction. I think the plan's going to go something along the lines of, I'm going to basically ask her what happened to the driver's door. Although you can see there's absolutely nothing wrong with the driver's door. I'm going to act as if I'm not mad and I wouldn't be mad if any of that happened anyway. Unfortunately, it hasn't. Knock on wood, because I'm superstitious as all hell. And then we're gonna throw Jake into some hiding area. Bush. And uh, we're gonna see what she says. Hopefully she has a cool reaction. And now boys and girls, the plot thickens. Jake's gotta pull back in Dream Diesel giveaway number 10. Seriously guys, you could be taking that truck home. I just want you to realize that plus $10,000 on top. If you can see your future in a 2017 Platinum, well, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. I can't get over how absolutely sick this thing looks. Like, conceptualization to reality, spot on. Better than expected, should I say. All right, real quick, I just had to give you guys first impressions. This thing feels so much more agile than it was on its stock wheels, and I think that that's probably a huge compliment to the fact that these wheels weigh considerably less than those that we took off. I mean, overall, this thing feels way more nimble. My God, it's awesome. I'm gonna call my wife right now, and I'm gonna break the bad news about the den. Hello? Hey, sweetie, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. I'm just, uh, I'm just doing some laundry. I'm washing uh, throw pillows, which is a huge win. The fluffy part comes off. This is phenomenal news. I just had a, a question. We were washing the SRT, and uh, I noticed yeah. that there's like a pretty bad dent in the door. What? What door? The, the driver's door. No, there's not a dent there. Well, I mean, we're on our way home now. I just want to show you because I'm kind of curious like how this could have gotten here. Well, what, how, what, what do you mean a dent? Like, I, I like, don't know. I, I mean, something? I don't well, think that I did it. Well, I think you would know if you did it, wouldn't you? I feel like I would know and I don't recall. So do you recall? No, I didn't hit anything. I've been barely even leaving this house. All right, well, I'm on my way home. I have driven one time this whole month. I mean, I'm not mad or anything. You sound like you have an undertone. Oh. And it sounds like you're accusing me. No, no accusations whatsoever. Just trying to well, get to the bottom of the subject here. Well, you drive the car more than I do. So maybe it was you. Well, I'll be home in a few minutes. You can come outside and check it out. Well, maybe it was Jake. He parked in the driveway and the other week and he, and he, and my car was backed in. So it would have been on the driver's side. Maybe he hit it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on now. What am I going to hit in the big old driveway? Check the cameras. Oh, crap. You got right. your own camera. Nobody's That's playing the blame game. I just wanted to ask. That was it. You're asking because you think that it was me. No, I'm just asking anybody that yeah. would ever sit in the driver's seat. Well, then you should ask Mr. Do. Our dog. <laughs> well, yeah, he sits up there sometimes. Oh my God. Well, look, I'll see you in a few minutes. Do you think he jumped on it? Is it like a paw? Or I don't, I don't know, know, babe. It's like a pretty serious dent. It looks like somebody mashed the door into something. Uh, there's a possibility that maybe I hit something and don't remember. Are you messing with me? Is this like a, one of your, your things that you're doing, like a prank? No, it's not at all. I just usually find imperfections when I wash vehicles. I have anxiety right now. All right, well, don't let it get the best of you. Well, is What's-His-Face going to be able to get it out? We'll talk about it when I get Our home. Hands? I'm literally right around the, the corner. guy? Okay. All right, I love you. She hung up. Oh, she's upset. <laughs> she's upset. She's really upset. I kind of feel bad, but it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. We're, we're literally like a few minutes away from home. So hopefully it pays off in the end. Jake, you're gonna have to find a good hiding spot for him. I feel like the instant she sees that we're filming, she's gonna be like, what the hell? <laughs> All right, guys, it's time to reveal the truth. Let's do it. All right, so I just, I want you to know, like I'm not mad by any means or anything like that, but I just wanted to show you the dent because I was like floored when I saw it. I feel like I'm like in trouble. No, you're not in trouble. Do you have to record this? Me getting in trouble? Well, yeah. Check it out. That's not a 
dead? <laughs> you. Gotcha. <laughs> Yay! What do you think? I'm so cool. I'm so sorry I put you through like 10 minutes of agonizing anxiety over this dent that doesn't exist. I love exist. you. Do you love them? Yeah, I love them. How sick are they? Oh my God, they're so sweet. Yes, 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 yes. Nice job. Is yeah. that what you were thinking? Yeah, I mean, it's better than I was thinking. I didn't think you were gonna get me a boss. So I know that you <laughs> came to me the other day and you're like, hey, I watched your video and you said that you're getting me wheels. And then I kind of realized that I shot myself right in the foot. So I schemed up with Jake. Actually, it was all Jake's idea this morning to do the dent thing. Aw, that's why we keep you around. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So I had to blame him. <laughs> They're bad butt. Bad butt. That. They're bad. Bad to the bone. Wait, bad? You don't like them? No, no like, like bad. bad cool. Is like that not trendy? Is that is that hip? I think it's like we're bad. like kind of old now because we're like about to be parents. <laughs> no, I'm not old. <laughs> you got stance now, babe. You got stance now, babe. You got you got you got you got stance now, babe. Yeah. Throw you your arms outside the side. Now. Jump up and now you surprise you your wife. Got your stance now. Right now, do the stance dance. Yeah. Throw your arms out wide. Now do your stance dance. Jump up and now you surprise your wife. Like you, you got, it's a wider wheel, it's concave. They're Vossens, which is pretty dope. Big shout out to Kyle again at Vossen. Remember Kyle from Adam's Polishers when we got lunch with him that day? Yeah, he was so awesome. Well, now he works at Vossen. We got lunch with Kyle. Kyle, if you're watching this video, dude, shout out to you again for the hookup. Wow. Man. And when you got the SRT, Wait. he messaged me and was like, dude, I got the solution. Are Did the lowering video this, that you are didn't Are they notice? matte? Yeah, they're satin. Oh, that's it's so a, cool. It's like kind of like a semi-gloss. Oh, they're so cool. How yeah. sick does it look? Yeah, I love oh them. Well, for starters, I think everyone should notice that it was lowered. Yes. In case you haven't caught <laughs> that video. Actually, everybody watching this video right now saw a summary of your reaction. Maybe. Maybe they're just watching this one. No, they saw no, it in the they beginning saw. of the video because I put it in the be beginning of this video. <laughs> Imagine if I came out and I didn't notice. It got like 200,000 views. If I views. came out and I didn't notice these Vossen wheels, because I'm like, Vossen. Isn't that a thing? Blossom? I'm Blossom. <laughs> Kyle You're, put me on thing? a commercial. Because I'm Blossom. <laughs> The cool mom that's flossing. With the Vossens. You're messing up the beat. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was my cue, Stop babe. it. The cool mom. Is that how you do it? I don't know. The kids do it these days. Or maybe that was the last days. Is this like, how you do it? The last day. Like a couple years ago. <laughs> You're younger with than us. Aren't you supposed to know this? Super <laughs> with the super rad Vossens. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I think everyone's about to be like, yo, wifey Dirty Max. Drop an album. I think I need my own sitcom. <laughs> or no, with sitcom, that's funny, right? Yeah, funny. I don't actually know if I'm funny or just like really not right. I think we're both not okay. right. <laughs> the angles are so good. That's our tree, Bob. We planted him. This is Bob. My name is Jeff. He's a good looking tree. Kathy is Kathy not a performer. Kathy's side of the grass is growing quicker, but Bob is like really Bob's taking a off. performer. <laughs> he really is. The SRT really has a road presence now. I mean, before it looked super dope, but it really needed a set of wheels to just pop it off. And I know you love the black wheel thing. Yeah. Luckily, we see eye to eye on that. I did like the white, though. Like, I did not expect to like that. Nice. What these if these were sweet. white? Would you have liked that? No. Yeah, too much. Right? <laughs> too much? What? No, don't get it any been too ideas. Much white. I can't trust you. You just lied to me and told me that I had a dent in my car. It wasn't a lie. It was a storyline. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm opening the door. I don't either. Why are you, why are you doing that? Interior check. <laughs> These wheels are so cool. They're dope, right? I'm not going to pretend I hate them like I did with the Wrangler. Cause Thank you. Because my tears are still embedded in the grass. That was, was epic. If you didn't see it, you got to see it. We'll link that video up above if you guys want to see it. My wife and I like to play tricks on each other from time to time, but it's a lot of good fun. That was like a... That was savage. Look at me with all these trendy words. Well, this was They're fun. They're so cool. Sorry again that I had to lie to you. I love my wheels. What is that song? It's like a TikTok. I don't even have TikTok. I, I really don't know. Carol Baskin killed uh. her husband. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb, drop a beat in him. this video, dude. Thank you. You're welcome. And guys, if you haven't checked out Boston Wheels already, again, hit up their website and just go take a look at all of the amazing design styles that they have. You've got everything from like the hybrid forged wheels that we put on this to a whole new caliber of different styles from polish, custom powder coat colors, custom designs, custom sizes, and everything in between. Big shout out to Boston for doing what they do and helping us make the SRT look absolutely sick. So that's where we're gonna end this video, guys. I think we gotta go out for a first test drive. What do you say? Agreed. Yeah, awesome. I'm glad you love them. Oh my God. I love them. They're so cool. If you guys haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel already, definitely consider doing so. Our Like League, we love you guys. Do what you do best. Oh, I wanted to say that. You want to grab that one? All right, go ahead. Yeah. Our Like League, do what you do best. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you like this video. And grab some entries for Dream Diesel giveaway number 10. Four entries are still live, but they're going away in just a few days. See y'all in the next video. I can't believe you seriously got me a Oh, yeah, babe. You're totally worth my I do. want to record one more thing.
Because I got new shoes. New shoes, new wheels, new mom! Woo! 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 Woo!